Hi, Edwin here. Okay, uh, I'm live uh, coming in from church, right? Uh, I'd like to share our journey with uh, streaming our services. Uh, since lockdown, right, in March, uh, we have not been able to have uh, normal church gatherings in our church in Horizon Hills. Uh, and, and thank God that uh, I think two years ago, we already started streaming our, our recording our services and posting it on YouTube or on Facebook. And it was only last year that we started streaming on Facebook Live, right? Okay, yep. Uh, before that, there were many considerations before we started streaming. You know, because when we go public, you know, uh, we have to be uh, careful with our words. We have to be careful and be loving and full of grace with our speech. Okay, you know what we say, what we can say and what, uh, how do we say it. These things are important. Okay, but today I just want to show you uh, the equipment that we have been using. Uh, because we are a small church, uh, budget is a constraint, especially right now where since March we have not had a uh, church gathering. Okay, so our, uh, just like any church in the world today, offering collections and tithes have dropped quite substantially. Okay, so we, but at the same time, you know the Bible says that, you know, in the fellow ground of the in the fellow ground of the poor, there's plenty, right? So, okay, so why is the man poor even though his ground has plenty? Because he has not bothered to tile, tile or, 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 or dig up the ground, you know, to search or to find out what is there that God has given to him. Yep, so this is my conviction. This is my, the principle of God that I live with. You know, whatever God gives to me, you know, even though I can't see it and there's a need for certain things, I will look for it. <coughs> and extend and use everything that has been put in my hands uh, uh, as much as possible okay and only certain things that we don't need if we have the financial means we will purchase all right okay so when i come back i will show you the things that we need all right okay now uh, what are the things that we use for broadcasting okay simplest thing because uh, my hand my laptop uh, is a windows 7 and it's a very old laptop that we have been using since 2010, 2010, 2011. Okay, Windows 7, you know, uh, Microsoft doesn't provide upgrades anymore. All right. Okay, so, uh, and the laptop is quite slow. Okay, I think it's only 4 gigabyte or 2 gigabyte RAM. And it's quite slow. So, softwares like OBS or CrossSplit, XSplit, uh, broadcast softwares uh, uh, can, uh, are not able to run uh, or will hang all the time because we use the same laptop for uh, sound slides you know that we project for during the service so that people can worship okay so one laptop is used to function a lot of, to use to uh, work a lot of things so it, it doesn't run very well when heavy uh, software like cross speed uh, is needed too Okay, or even worship extreme and things like that okay so uh, so we had no choice we, do, we don't have the finances to purchase new equipment okay uh, so what do we have okay uh, let me let me show you in a okay so yeah uh, so what I've been using okay what equipments that I have been using uh, since we are budget constrained and quite tight you know just like any church in the world now offering and tithes has uh, dropped by quite a big amount okay for us our offering and tithes has dropped to 95 percent okay by 95 percent you know we are living by faith alone okay and my wife and i yes we are living by faith ever since we started this church it's always been by faith trusting god for every everything right okay so uh my my, my goal is to use everything that god has provided and surely god will supply amen seek god's kingdom first and he will add everything on to us right okay so what have i used uh, for software, okay, for camera, and for sound, okay, I've used my, I've been using my handphone, uh, that that uh, was given to me uh, a few a year back, okay, uh, it's a Google phone, three XL, okay, the camera lens is a Sony lens, okay, and it's quite good, okay, it's much better than the webcam that I have, which is a Logitech 720p, uh, okay, uh, so. Yeah, and the Logitech tends to hang with my laptop. It's, my laptop is the issue, okay, uh, you know. So it tends to hang and the quali image quality that is trans 
that is streamed is not good and it's not clear at all compared to my uh, laptop and uh, my handphone okay so for camera for software wise is straight with my handphone okay with my handphone so okay you can actually stream live from any phones that you have but uh, the better the phone the better the camera quality or the make the google the pixels are uh, the better it will be all right okay so now we're done we've settled with camera and software okay so what do we do now uh, the next one is uh sound okay my my lap my hand my handphone has a pretty good mic as well that captures sound quite well but uh because of distance right between uh where we block, where we capture the image and where the people where the where we stand to preach or to lead worship it depends on where we are okay so i have purchased uh this uh boya boya uh, cardion mic okay it looks like this it's boya cardion mic uh it's a h b y a 7 a all right with a uh a, a, a 3.5 millimeter jack all right this comes this also comes with a digital jack uh c type jack for handphones okay or yep you can you can uh, look into lazada or shopee for this all right okay it's not expensive it's i bought it for only 59 was it 49 for 59 ringgit it's only about uh less than uh less than 15 american dollars okay that kind of thing or less than even 10 it's about 10 to 15 american dollars which is quite cheap okay uh i bought it from a local um supplier through lazada okay and this has been good let's say for small areas that you want to pick up sound okay where the distance is not too great all right but it also tends to pick up every sound that is around okay so you will get a lot of uh, ambient ambient sounds as well okay so that is for the simplest setup that you can use okay for recording or for live streaming i will come back i will show you what we do uh, uh what we use in our church okay now we are back okay uh you know in our church every most most of everything that we have here you know from the keyboard to the drums to the pulpit even even the chairs you know uh has been blessed by by uh, generous donors in the past not many things in this church uh, that 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 we have uh, is purchased okay you know some people wonder you know our things are pretty good stuff but because God loves his church ma, right I'm sure God can supply for you too okay all right so yeah ex the things that we purchase are of course that we were invested in you know is the sound system that we didn't uh, short short change in okay and and of course projectors we have to buy you know the ceiling projector that you see up there uh, where do you see it? up there okay right there <laughs> don't know why i'm pointing okay uh it's uh absent okay uh of late it's not pretty good because i think the the lifespan is coming is is uh reaching its end Okay. it's only a 3000 lumen so it's not very good in a bright surrounding okay all right i'm looking to uh get get a better projector in the future I'm looking into lazada into china brands okay and they're because their prices are quite cheap and their lumens you know the lumens the nc lumens are quite high okay for sound system wise uh we've been using this a uh, gecko exodus gecko exodus atom mxr 808a Okay, it's a pretty good system. It's a powered mixer. Okay, it's a powered mixer produced by my friend uh, Daniel Fu. Okay, he, he's the he's the head, the genius of uh, in in providing good sound, right? Okay, yep, this is um, recording studio quality sound, right? Okay, so together with the microphones that they pro, uh, 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 the speakers. Okay, that come from them too. Look, look them, look them up. Daniel Fu on Facebook or or Gecko, Gecko. All right, sound systems, huh? All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, Gecko music. All right. Okay. So what do I use to to good for have to have good sound? Okay. Initially, we we tried using uh, open mics like this. 
okay, to for church setting. You see in the sanctuary, uh, there's a stage. It's right there. Okay, it's too far. It's too far. And using open mics like this, right? You tend to uh, tend to uh, capture too much ambient sound, especially when there's so much uh, in an echoey space like this. Too much ambient feedback. You know, and you can pick up sounds of, from the icons and the fans too. Yep. So my my journey was to this was to work up and to find out through many trials and errors how to get good sound right from the mixer. Should be from the mixer, right? Okay. So uh, what was my what did I experiment with? Going looking into YouTube, uh, uh, into uh, uh, teachings and YouTube's about capturing good sound um, I discovered that I needed a sound card a sound card even though for laptops or for your handphones you already have a sound card you already have a sound card in your laptop or in your handphones okay but because uh, sometimes a laptop heats up right the laptop heats up or because you know of the of the for example my the age of my laptop or even the handphones you know, sometimes the, the microchips, the sound processors, right, are too close to certain things in the in the in the CPU board in the board, right. So sometimes it tends to um, uh, provide uh, unnecessary uh, noises, okay. And you tend to get a lot of um, a lot of echo echoey uh, quality kind of sound. All right, I will come back in a Okay, so I'm back. So uh, so I needed. I, I realized that I needed a sound card, okay, so that the sound is processed externally from the laptop or from the handphone before it gets into the broadcast or is streamed. Okay, so I've um, I looked into Lazada and Shopee and, and um, discovered this. I didn't want anything too expensive because I'm not sure uh, of this kind of things and I want and we didn't have much in our hands as well. So, but thank God I found this. Uh, this is the simplest sound card that I can find. Of course, there's things like we eat sound cards, you know, that people use for karaoke and things like that. But I found this. This is only about 49 ringgit. Same around there, about 50 to 60 ringgit on Lazada. It's a Blackstone uh, 7.1 channel controller. Okay, 7.1 Blackstone. Okay. Model GS3, okay. It's a USB sound card. See, USB. All right, USB. That because my handphone is a C type uh, jack, so I bought a. I have a C type connector that comes with my phone, right? So I connect this to my handphone, okay. Where and at the same time, uh, I connect. The sound that is mixed in the mixer, okay, it comes out. I, I pull it out from the earphone jack. Okay, earphone jack. Okay, it can also come out from the the red and white jacks. All right, if you if you can do that. Okay, but I, I prefer the earphone jack because the earphones have a volume control that I can I, instead of adjusting one by one, I can uh, uh, I which I need to. I, uh, uh, when I need to shut off the total volume, I can uh, do this from this, okay, the earphone uh, volume control, okay. So from the earphones, uh, headphones, uh, earphone phone jack, from the laptop, uh, from the mixer, okay, uh, I've got this 3.5 millimeter jack. Make sure it's a, you have three lines, huh? make sure you have three lines for a microphone jack. All right. If it's two, your hand, my handphone is not able to pick up the mic uh, setting. But if it's three, my, uh, my handphone uh, is able. I'm not sure about your handphones. You can try it out. But always buy a three-line jack, okay? Because most hands, handphones or headphones uh, can always come with a mic, which you have to use when you talk, right? Okay. So, so I've got this. I can use this to plug into my 3.5 millimeter jack at the top. But when I try this, I don't know why, the feedback is terrible, okay, or the sound quality is not so good. So I have to plug it into my sound card. Okay, sound cards are not expensive, they are cheap, they are affordable ones online, okay. Don't buy them from the shops, the shops are always marked up 
go online Lazada do your do your study okay on on YouTube search out uh, sound cards okay yep and then you plug this in plug this in and then you plug it into your handphone and that's how you get uh, good sound all right okay um, so this is my uh, affordable uh, simpler setup that we have that we have at the moment okay of course in the and, uh, and at the same time I'm looking at simplest operation because uh, at the moment my sound man is not available he's stuck at home due to the lockdown and things like that so I'm looking for the when church begins again okay that we are able to pick it up as simplest as, as, in a, 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 and immediately all right so this is the easiest way to um, to do church from sound okay so yep so that's that okay uh, if you have any questions regarding uh, sound system or recording uh, so your sermons you can of course email me at my word of life my word w-o-r-d of life one word my word of life at gmail.com all right okay and just uh open inverted commas just type inquiring about sound systems okay all right so that's that oh one other thing before we go okay uh the sound to facebook live okay can be controlled uh, through the faders, individual faders, or the gain. All right, we had we had tried this, we have tested this out week after week after week to work out a better sound, and this is all through trial and error. So, sit down with your sound man. If you have a sound man, you are blessed. If you don't have, you have to learn it yourself. Good for pastors to uh, pick up a good another skill because. We are all about speaking, right? Our preaching ministries, right? It's all about speaking. So the, bad, the more that you know, the less you can pay your sound man. All right? No, joking. All right, so yeah, that's that. Anything else? Yeah. Okay, that's about it. All right, uh, if I can think of anything or if there are any questions you want to ask me, uh, of course, uh, WhatsApp. Uh, not WhatsApp. Email me at mywordoflife at gmail.com and yeah so subscribe okay don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channels okay one is edwin ko bl b is for boon l is for ling edwin ko bl that is my personal youtube channel or subscribe to my church channel which is word of life church jb word of life church jb and make sure you like the videos right like and subscribe okay <coughs> like subscribe and to share all right so that you will uh share and of, of course finally to smash the bell okay so that you will receive notification when there are future uh uploads all right god bless you jesus loves you okay enjoy the journey in in discovering greater sound quality for your church or for yourself all right god bless bye bye